Hi, good morning and uh, welcome to Russia. I thought I'd make this quick video for you, really just to give you a bit more of an insight into Kimi's crash helmets. Uh, I've got one here and as you can see from the uh, the visor, our dummies guide to, uh, to visors and crash helmets, uh, this is the one we're going to be using in the race today. Um, what's special about the helmets? Okay, we use Bell helmets, so Bell are the supplier and uh, I like Bell for a lot of reasons. Number one, from a safety point of view, um, they are rigorously testing the helmets all the time from a safety aspect so uh, I think that's important just for anyone wearing their uh, helmets to understand. They're very light so they work really hard to, to reduce the weight of the helmets where they can and uh, I think for me as a trainer, as a therapist, when we reduce the weight of the helmets all we're really doing is reducing the load, of the load on the neck uh, during the race so if we can save 50 grams on the helmet, that 50 grams times by whatever G the neck is going to go through per corner, per lap, times 60 or 70 laps of a race, we're obviously going to reduce the load overall on the neck. So for my job as a therapist, as a trainer, it makes my life a little bit easier. Um, in terms of how they sort of save the weight, um, they're playing around constantly with different materials for the helmet, uh, but also things like just putting one coat of uh, um, lacquer over the helmet after it's been painted as opposed to four or five will again reduce some of the weight of the helmet so they go to quite extreme measures the downside is the helmets get destroyed quite quickly because obviously as you're driving around with choked, uh, stone chips etc the helmets themselves take a little bit of a beating and the less lacquer they have on them the, uh, the more they chip um, the other thing I like about Bell is they actually scan the head of the driver so uh, with other helmet manufacturers you tend to get small, medium, large helmets Whereas with Bell, they actually scan the head and uh, it's a bit like, I guess, having a ski boot and having a foam injected uh, ski boot. You know that the boot is then fitted to your foot. It's very similar now with the Bell helmet. So with the scan, it just makes the whole fit a lot more comfortable and a lot better. What else is going on with the helmets? Uh, just to give you a bit of a rundown, we've got a couple of air vents on the top. So the air vents just create a little bit of a cooling effect. Um, depending on the weather, if it's raining, um, we'll either close these vents or we'll turn them round. And by turning them round, you're still getting airflow into the helmet, um, but you're not going to get uh, rain inside the helmet. We have this lip on the front. Um, so this lip on the front here is really just to keep the uh, the helmet in the right place. So when we're in places like Monza, um, you're in a very low downforce circuit. You're doing 340-ish kilometers an hour. Um, the helmet can lift and uh, putting this lip on the front just keeps the helmet down so it keeps the helmet in the right place. Um, Kimi gets through around 18 to 20 helmets a year so um, because again of what I mentioned before about the lacquer and the, the paint job um, the helmets get destroyed quite quickly so um, like I say we probably wouldn't use a helmet more than once or twice um, over the course of the race uh, calendar um, sometimes if they haven't been too badly beaten Kimmy like with the gloves and his boots he likes to wear something that's a bit more comfortable and used but like I say the helmets are one thing that uh, like I say tend to get destroyed a little bit quickly. With the visors um, we have uh, three or four helmets per race that are set up and the reason for this is we use three different uh, visors we've got a clear so for Singapore for example a night race we use the clear visor or if it's going to rain. So um, if it's looking like it's going to rain, we always have one helmet prepared for the uh, for the wet. We have a medium visor, which we're going to use today in the race, and we have dark. So if it's uh, a very low light or a particularly bright light, maybe somewhere in the Middle East, Bahrain, um, sometimes Barcelona testing, especially in the winter, and um, we use the darker visor. But it's much easier to uh, change the helmets for Kimi than it is to undo the visors and swap the visors over. So we always have... Uh, other helmets prepared with different versions. For the race itself, um, Kimmy's going to use today a medium uh, visor and I'll have a medium visor on a different helmet set up in exactly the same way. So if something goes wrong with the helmet, if the earplugs don't work or whatever else might have happened, if there's a massive stone chip on the way to the grid, then we'll just swap helmets so we know it's exactly the same uh, specification. In terms of the, uh, the actual helmets themselves, uh, this one's obviously rigged up for the race. So uh, we have Kimmy's, if you can see here, Kimmy's uh, radio system here. So the radio cable plugs into the car and then his earplugs plug into this section here. So, um, so that's how he's connected to the car. Um, we've got a radio, if you can see just in here at the front, um, we've got a radio here 
that he speaks into and this little white tube is the drink system. So the drink system is a little bit like a windscreen washer uh, system on a normal road car. He presses a button on the steering wheel that says drink and uh, water gets squirted at his mouth or whatever I decide to put in the, uh, the drink system. So uh, that's how that one works. Um, what else with regards to the helmet? We've got these little silver attachments on the back so this is where the uh, hand system connects. So the hand system is just a safety system designed to protect the neck. So I'm sure you've all seen the, the hand system that goes around the back of the neck. This is where they connect. Um, other than that, not a lot really more to say about Kimmy's crash helmet. Um, hope you've enjoyed this short video. Hopefully this one does well and gets on the podium and uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy the race and see you in Japan. Okay, I normally shoot these videos and I normally stand up after I've turned the whole thing off and think, oh, I forgot to say that and I forgot to say something. So instead of doing the whole thing again or just leaving it, I thought I'd quickly film an additional couple of seconds. Um, Tear-offs on the visor, if you can see here, um, Kimi has a series of uh, tear-offs. We use tear-offs from uh, the US and we have 10 per race. So if Kimi gets any crap on his visor, he can just take the tear-off off, throw it away and he can see again. Anyway, that's what I forgot. Cheers. Bye.